why the Yorubas will leave Nigeria by Bayo Uluwa Somi. This is Nigerians' end time. The tyrannical regime of General Muhammadu Buhari will give way to the secession. In the absence of a unifying national interest, Nigeria has become fragmented, lawless, disorderly, dangerous and seemingly unlivable. Predictions about the breakup of Nigeria have reached its crescendo. The Fulani controlled federal government headed by General Muhammadu Buhari, retired, continues to thumb its nose at Yorubas. With the formation of Amotekun, the Western Nigerian Security Network, Yorubas have obviously stated their declaration of causes why they will leave Nigeria. In the declaration of causes, two major themes emerged domination and internal colonization. Other grievances include economic exploitation and blunted display of injustice. The Fulanese have never hidden the agenda to dominate the rest of the country. By October 1st, it will be 60 years of independence from the British ruled government. Out of the 60 years, the Fulanese have been in charge of the central government for more than 40 years. It means the control, misuse, and misappropriation of our collective God-given resources. It means the monopoly of federal government political appointments and federal agencies, immigration, prison, customs, railways, EFCC, CCT, ICPC, Federal Inland Revenue Service, NTA, FRCN, Federal Civil Service are all headed by Fulanis. 99.99% of federal judges are Fulanis. All the security agencies, military, navy, SSS, or DSS, police are controlled by Fulanis. Above all, the Fulani control of federal bureaucracy, agencies, and corporations mean utter waste of generations unborn and truncation of destinies. Internally, the domination of Fulani is on full speed, with the moral, spiritual, financial support, power, and the influence of the presidency. The Fulani Earthsmen terrorists killed, maimed, and raped our people, appeasing the terrorists. General Muhammad Buhari urged victims of Fulani carnage to learn to live in peace with their neighbors whilst giving amnesty and forgiving the terrorist. The Northerners acting like custodians and owners of the presidency gleefully thundered that with Amotekun, Yoruba should forget the presidency in 2023. Yoruba should forget the presidency in 2023. They even went further to demand that General Muhammad Buhari, the commander in chief of Fulani terrorists, should arrest Yoruba leaders because of Amotekun. Yoruba declaration of causes include but not limited to the following why Yoruba is ready to leave Nigeria and eventually break the country apart as it has come and it has reached the crescendo. 1. Nigeria is convulsed by internal violence. Yorubas are no longer safe. Nigeria can no longer deliver positive political goods to our people. 2. General Muhammad Buhari ty tyrannical regime has lost lost its legitimacy and by extension nigeria has become illegitimate three nigeria enjoys no stability and predictability no one is in charge our democracy has turned to a dictatorship under buhari nothing works in nigeria anymore everything is in disarray four all the ethnic groups are tense deeply conflicted dangerous and contested bitterly by warring factions there is unprecedented disharmonies between communities and among states. 5. Nigeria is no longer or willing to perform its fundamental jobs of a nation. Nigeria exhibits flawed and failed institutions. Only the institution of the executive functions. If the legislators exist at all, they are rubber stamp machines. The judiciary is an annex of Asorok. We can no longer rely on the court system for redress or remedy. 6. Corruption flourishes on an unusually destructive scale. There is a vacuum of authority. Nigeria is a mere geographical expression. 7. Nigeria is cursed by the discovery of oil. 
failure and collapse of Nigeria is man-made. Ethnicity, economics, and ideology all fueled our decision to leave Nigeria. There is no shortage of groups that want Nigeria to split up. Far from the contrary, opinion of the Fulanese, secessionist is a populist option. It is not a collection of cranky, lonesome idealists. And of course, you know, the, uh, the Biafrans also want out of Nigeria. And right now, the Yoruba is already creating a group. And they say if the federal government is not going to accept this, if the Aousa Fulani are not going to accept this, enough is enough. And I think Nigeria has come to a point whereby um, it has come to the end of its reign as that is what it is when there is a forced um, marriage or relationship it has to break apart finally and that is what it is as nigeria has expired january 1st 2014 the amalgamation was for 100 years and afterwards nigeria is supposed to you know find a way to sit down to discuss about being together but unfortunately it is not so as there is no way forward and it has to break finally so the amoteko is a group that the south western part of nigeria have created they've come up with it they've inaugurated it and the police today in Lagos, um, they try to stop some protesters from, you know, flying the banner of the Amotekun. Well, whatever it is, probably they might say they are trying to make sure that they keep everybody, you know, safe. But at the end of the day, this is the final straw that might break the camel's back if, only if, the South Westerners, their governors, and the people that are in support of Amotekun do not give up, as this will be the final straw that will split Nigeria finally. And everyone can eventually stay put. There won't be fight or need for 2023 and all the presidential push and year and waste of money. There won't be need for bribe, bribing and corruption. There won't be any need to bribe INEC. There won't be need for every of those things. Everybody will mind his own region, speak the same language and do what they have to do. But unfortunately, it seems some regions are not yet speaking about the break. Right now, Biafra has been speaking. The Yorubas are already sending signals already that there is going to be a break. So there is no shortage of groups that want this you know, country to finally break. Nigeria is a phony country built on borrowed convenience. First by the British wicked monarchy and then by the struggle of the North and the South. The looming secession will tear Nigeria to pieces for sure. The pandemic or an economic collapse is driving the country to a swift, quick, pute secession. Let him save himself. He will can. Or he, will, that's just what it is. Yorubas have no trust in General Muhammad Buhari's Nigeria. They don't feel represented or belong in Nigeria. This Nigerian experiment, the only way to regain our socio-economic and political destiny is to leave Nigeria and chart a brand new country that will guarantee our pursuit of happiness, liberty, peace, progress, and prosperity. Under international law, Yorubas are qualified as people who have the right to self-determination, the ability to freely determine our political fate, and form a representative government. Yoruba en mass really and truly wants to secede, so legal arguments should would be relevant. The present arrangement, the present General Muhammad Buhari's regime, are not conducive to our freedom and democracy. We must leave the jungle. If other nations broke up successfully, why would the Fulani think that Nigerian case is etched on stone? Here are some successful secessionist um, countries, and I'm going to call them out. Algeria broke away from France. East Timor seceded from Indonesia. Eritrea left Ethiopia. Bangladesh broke away from Pakistan. Uruguay left Brazil. Greece and Serbia left Ottoman Empire, South Sudan left Sudan, and Panama left Colombia. Now, what else remains? That's to show that countries break apart once things are not working the way it's supposed to work. And right now, nothing seems to be working. Not only because of Buhari, because of the kind of politics that has been played for a long time in Nigeria. And I think people have come to a point whereby they are saying enough is enough let nigeria become a productive country and much more productive than what it is rather than we living like mediocres um like how it is while some people are just there um, making sure that things remain the way it is for their own personal benefit so it's just enough is enough and that is what it is so if you're not a member of this channel let us grow together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below 
it will alert you whenever videos are uploaded. And for those who are already a member of this channel, I say a very big thank you for the support. <music>